all right guys welcome to the video we're going to take a really quick look at the highlights of the patch notes and if you yourself want to look into more detail feel free to do so because we will be skipping parts that are less um you know relevant to gameplay or affecting the experience in that manner so the patch is tomorrow uh thursday september the 12th downtime is one and a half hours so i'll just pick out the highlights here first off rank jewels um rewards are now based on match duration bringing them in line with other game modes uh, here we have a big one revenge active feats and debuffs are now working properly when receiving revenge gains Receiving multiple attacks on the same frame will grant the right amount of revenge gain Countering a guard break will not grant revenge gain Captains and guardians no longer allowed to count as an active opponent. They will not give any revenge gain Fixed an issue on attacks that are not providing revenge gain all attacks will now give the right amount of revenge So this is great to see um even in the tournaments in recent weeks uh it's super super tilting that i'm just being blown up by people just spamming bashes into me and where whereby that would normally be discouraged by well i would get revenge from that type of uncoordinated um play uh, i wouldn't get it and i would just die and that was really really tilting the developer comment underneath is we've been aware of a number of issues surrounding revenge and here we are fixing the known outstanding issues with revenge gain the particular change to active feats mean that hitting an opponent with a projectile feat, for example, will no longer count as an additional revenge active opponent. So what this means is it's a buff to feats. Your projectile feats, your uh, traps, um, your fire flasks, your bombs will not create a tag uh, for revenge for the opponent. Uh, instead, they'll just do what they normally do and you won't be revenge feeding. So that's great. Um, I'll be I'm interested to see how that goes and how influential it is but uh, it's an interesting change that uh, I quite like actually um, we'll see how it goes next up we have a buff to all the characters a uh, slight one with zone attacks um, it's they've removed the brief one second stamina regeneration pauses that occur during most zone attacks so that's an interesting one to know um, which is nice stamina uh, decreasing the costs of stamina and, in for honor in general is a good place to go on fire in the game in general not fire flask or particular feat fire will now take twice as long to tick its damage so you'll stay alive for longer after when you're hit by a certain amount of damage with fire so fire is going to do the same amount of damage but will take longer to kill you next the first big highlight or second big highlight after revenge uh, we have the fighters so the heroes first being peacekeeper um, so peacekeeper when you land a light attack now against the target that's bleeding it's not going to be blocked her lights are enhanced i'm sure all you guys know what enhanced lights are and know what the repercussions of that are in gameplay someone's bleeding your lights don't get blocked you can continue into your chains and flow more often like that so they're trying to improve her um chain pressure or pressure in general without giving her i guess bashes and things like this so there looks like they're trying to work around that she also has a big bunch of um recovery buffs uh, decreasing her recoveries so you'll see this across a number of heroes we're not going to go into each one and what each one means and all this but in general lowering recoveries allows a point uh, allows players to attack in scenarios where there's multiple opponents more often without risking um you know getting giving free guard breaks to opponents because you're standing there after your highlander heavy and you're stuck in your position without being able to block or counter guard break for 14 years so i mean it's that kind of a scenario it'll also help on 1v1s if they're on specific moves but uh here um i think that's the general um premise of what they're trying to trying to hit um valkyrie also big bunch of a recovery buffs so that puts valk with a little bit of buff a little bit of a buff in this patch i don't know how much it affects her i don't play valk um so there you go a bit of a buff for valk in terms of recoveries i guess trying to uh, push the character to be more proactive in team fights as well then on warlord it's a warlord headbutt bash buff they tightened the timing to dodge a headbutt by 300 ms they reduced the recovery of zone attack to 600 ms from 1000 ms that recovery reduction there is again so you use it in scenarios in 4v4 or 2v2 and you won't be punished really hard for having a terribly long recovery uh, so they tighten the dodge timing the developer comment here to prevent very early dodges to successfully dodge the headbutt uh, so there's a headbutt buff and a, zone, a nice little zone attack buff uh, for warlord uh, conquer side lights are now 500 ms from neutral they were six 
So he's now living in 2019. Uh, it's still, I mean, it's still not amazing, but he's living in 2019 now. The increased damage of his infinite lightning chains are 18 from 13. I am interested whether to find out this affects the bash, his light after bash, if that's a chain light or a stellar light, I don't recall. So whether his bash is going to be 18 damage or not now, I don't know. You guys can let me know if that's a chain light or stellar light. Uh, but little buff to uh, Conqueroo there. And then on the Bushi, we have a bunch of recovery adjustments and a nice little important one down here where they reduce the recovery of our zone attack faint by 100 mass to prevent guaranteed guard break after block of the first hit. So if you block Nabushi's zone attack and uh, she fainted it, you get a free guard break. That was the case up until this patch here. On Shinobi here, they have a charge attack blocked from point blank range no longer gives the opponent a guaranteed guard break. And that's fair because if you parry it, um, I mean, he's going to be on his back. So it made no sense that you got a free guard break there. Good change. A very, very slight buff. Very, 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 very slight. Then on Highlander, he's got a big bunch of recovery stuff. So now the old man is living in 2019 as well. <clears throat> and they've reduced the, Here's a cool little one. They've reduced the stamina cost of offensive form. Hand slides to 16 from 27. So that's that's pretty substantial, actually. And I'm, I'm interested to see how useful that is for Highlander players. I'm interested to watch a good Highlander and uh, see what the stamina management is like there. Um, they also reduced the stamina cost of his full zone attack to 60 from 90 and they've distributed the cost as 40, 10, 10 on the first, second and third hit. So, uh, nice little buff for Highlander's quality of life there. It uh, doesn't make him like amazing all of a sudden and great. Um, like many of the others, I would say the same. But they're, you know, nice changes that make sense. On Shaman, they've reduced the stamina cost of full zone attack to 60 from 70. That might not seem like much. Distributors cost as 40, 10, 5, 5 on the four hits. And, re and here's the important part, removing the faint stamina cost. You can now use your zone attack as an option select or just as an attack or whatever. And you're, it will cost you 40, um, you know, as opposed to that uh, huge big stamina cost afterwards. And I, I don't know the number distribution before, but it was horrendous. On TND, they've removed the additional 20 stamina cost to canceling your side dragon dodge. Just another nice little stamina adjustment. They've adjusted his all right stance basic attack trajectory to be more horizontal. So I'm, I'm guessing um, that is uh, a hitbox buff. Yeah, here. It should also be easier to hit external opponents with right stance basic attacks, especially heavies. Our trajectories were smaller than their animation seemed to hit. So that's nice. That's really, really nice. Uh, that's very. The TND players would really like that for 4v4s if you use TND properly. Um, Hitting your opponents uh, with your external hitboxes, you will quite enjoy that one. That's really nice to see. I like that. Uh, so nice little quality of life change to TND. Again, it doesn't shift the character and power, uh, particularly to be honest. Um, none of these seem to, uh, except for maybe Warlord and BP. I'm interested to see how their bashes are now. Maybe the damage on Conk. On Shaolin, they've reduced a bunch of recoveries, so another recovery buff again, and then below here we've a slight damage nerf to his uh, side light attack. So whereas before you were getting 12, 6, 6, uh, so 21, and you could go into key stance if you wanted, um, you're now getting 21 overall, and you have to choose between the 21 damage from that side light or 14 damage and going into your key stance. So that's a slight nerf to his damage. Um, Slight, but I would say slight, but it's it's a decent amount of damage. It's not insignificant. And then you have a you know bunch of recovery stuff again. And here's one for Black Prior. Black Prior bash buff. They've tightened the timing to dodge a tenebrous rising by 200 mess. So this is going to be the uh, I guess a similar uh, timing and scenario as Warlord's headbutt. Uh, German Grandler, they've improved the tracking of his sprint attack. His sprint attack will still be absolutely garbage, so I'm not interested at all in that. Um, we have, very interestingly, High Fort map rework, which is pretty cool. Um, I'd like to see them go across all the maps with this kind of thing and improve them. It would be great. Uh, but basically, the long and short of it is, hazards are reduced. They've added railings, they've blocked up some holes, they've removed some some spikes so go check that out tomorrow i'm looking forward to playing our new high fort i'm really happy with that for map changes then we have a bunch of customization stuff we have a bunch of bug fixes 
then we have more bug fixes now there's some stuff that may allude to your particular character there's not that many that are particularly relevant but you can have a look there yourself i will leave the link for you um, on feats they fixed an issue to cause shield basher to be applied on locked on target when hitting a soldier so you could damage an opponent while locked on slim but being far away you would hit the soldier with your bash instead so that's gone that's good then haymaker not working against uh the fixed initial cost haymaker to not work against the gladiators fushina ictus so against the gladiators fushina ictus makes it sounds like it's a haymaker interaction into a toast tab like i'm i don't understand uh what they what they mean by the wording here so someone can explain it to me if you do know on seban zakura um it's just kind of an irrelevant fix here fix an issue that caused seven score to seem as active while reviving a teammate fix an issue that caused that us both to not unbalance the opponent if hit one on zipline that's kind of funny you throw a big fucking hammer at a guy in a zipline and he just keeps going so kind of scary too if someone was to just keep going towards you after you hit them with that hammer man um a couple of map bug fixes some ui fixes um matchmaking fix unfortunately they did not improve regular matchmaking uh they've just fixed in a bug uh with australian players been match right at other regions please please you be please 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 make matchmaking better it's so bad i'm so tired of running into rep zeros and rep 20s and 50s while i'm playing with tournament players and i myself am a tournament player it it's it's awful for them and it's awful for me and it makes no matter what change you put into the game irrelevant because it's going to be horrible for both both sets of players anyway playing in those games so please please get around to that one guys if any of you see this video um sooner rather than later and then we have a bunch of customization stuff and a bug fix for pc so that's it for today um i tried to get this out as quick as i could and not be longer than you know 15 minutes at most I don't know how long we've been going i tried to keep it to the highlights guys if you do want to see more details and you wanted to hear more about it you can check it out for yourself in the pinned comment i will leave a link for you with that i hope you enjoyed the video the patch overall i'm pretty happy with it let's see more this doesn't feel quite substantial enough to be mid-season patch i feel like we should get twice this size to be honest if it's only once a season or have this size patch two times a season but with that i'll catch you later guys let me know what you think of everything so long so you wanna be hardcore with your hat to the back talking about the gaps in your raps but i can't feel that hardcore appeal that you're screaming maybe i'm dreaming this ain't christopher williams still some empty that the feel one cat's like